In this video, I'm going to show you how to use unlimited vibe code with cursor and cloud code. So you're going to be able to use the unlimited for free with the latest models. By the end of this video, I'm going to show you how to set everything up with no technical knowledge and no credit card. I'm also going to show you how to create a website from start to finish. I've created hundreds of websites and I'm going to show you the best way how. You're going to want to watch all the way to the end. Leave a like, subscribe, and turn post notifications on if you haven't yet. Anybody can use this video. I'm going to try to make this the most useful video on YouTube for vibe coding. You don't need a credit card. You don't need technical experience. And the best way I know how from just trial and error and just from expertise of just learning along the way. Yeah, I know you guys enjoyed my previous videos about vibe coding. So I want to create a follow up video for you guys to continue on in the vibe code journey. Any links that I mentioned in here, put all of the links in the description down below for your reference as well. First off, go to google.com, type in Ravo Dev, so R-O-V. D E V. Once you're here, you're going to click on the first link. You don't need a credit card. You, everything in this video is completely for free. So you're here. You're going to click on try it now. It says work email, but you can enter any email you want. For me, I like to use Gmail. So for example, this is one email, right? After the trial is up and you want to do another one, you just do a dot. So this is a new email and then you want to do another email dot. So this is just kind of like an email people do to get unlimited Gmails. So we're going to sign up for a account right now. You can see here the green and then I'm going to click sign up. You'll be presented with this screen. Next up, you're going to go to your email and then get the code that they just sent you. So I'm going to go to my email and get the code. So when you're in your email, you'll see a code like this. And you can see here that I have the code. All you got to do is take that code, right click, copy, go back to that window, paste that code in. And then after that, you'll see it's email address verified. And then for here, you just enter any name. And then for the password, you enter literally any password. Press continue. Next up, you're presented with the screen. For your site name, you have to enter anything. Just pick something random that's available. And then when you see it is green on, and then I put agree and start now. You get presented with this window. Once it is successfully loaded, you'll get presented with this like tutorial thing. Just click X, you don't really need it. And then when you're here, you're gonna click on Ravo Dev CLI. Next up, we're gonna install Ravo Dev CLI. If you have a Mac, click on Mac. If you have a Windows, click on Windows. If you have a Linux, click on Linux. Right now we're using a Mac, so we're gonna click on Mac. You can see here that it opened a new window. Next up, you're gonna open up your terminal. Take this first link, copy, go to your terminal, paste it in, press enter. And you can see here that it's successfully installed. I already had it installed, so it's just turned to updating, but for you, it'll show something similar. Next up, you're gonna click the second link right here, brew install ACLI, go back to that same terminal, control V, copy and paste it in, press enter. From there, there you go. Once you see it pop back to this empty spot, then you'll know it's successfully installed. If you make sure you check for this third one, this is a command to check the version you have. Copy ACLI space dash dash version. Go back to your terminal, press enter, and it should say some type of version. But for you, it'll be whatever version in the current time you're watching it. And so it's continually updating. Now we can go back to our web browser. We can close this window. Next, we're going to generate an API token. Click that link. You can see here that another verification code has been sent to your email. So go back to the email that you originally used earlier. You take that code from the email. You go back to that page and then you press control V and paste it in. Next, you'll be presented over this window. Click on create API token for the name, name it anything you want for the date choose any date you want. Typically, I see it last about you'll be able to vibe code for about six hours and then you'll just create a new one and you then you'll get another 20 million credits again and you just keep doing it and it's pretty much just unlimited vibe coding. So we pick a date in the future, we pick any name we want, we press create. And then you can see here that successfully generated in the terminal, you're going to type in ACLI space Ravo dev space off space logout and you'll see logout successful. This is the step that you would do if you've previously used the trial again and you want to use another new trial, all you have to do is log out. So you can see how I'm logged out successfully of my old trial. Next, you're going to type in ACLI space Ravo dev space off space log in. You'll see the email. This is the email that you used previously. So I'm going to input my email Then when here you press enter and then it's going to say enter your ACLI. API token. So this is just go back to your window. This is just the one that we created. Click on copy and you can see API token copy the clipboard. Go back to your terminal, paste it in, press enter. And once you see the authentication successful, this means that everything is completely set up for you to vibe code unlimitedly. If you redo this process over again, you'll be you'll have a brand new account with fresh tokens again. This was the part of how to set up Bravo Dev and how to get all the features of Claude Code and Cursor completely for free. Next up, I'm going to show you how to create a website from start to finish. So we go back here. If you want to save this as well, this is just pretty much how to log in. And this is just pretty much how to run it. So you pretty much once you open up to any folder, you, you type in this command right here and then you press enter. And when you type it in and press enter, it opens up the CLI, which I will show you next. Let's create the website. So go open up your terminal, type in CD 
and then type in the brand new directory that you want to show. So to create a brand new directory, what I want to do is this. I opened up a brand new folder, right click, new folder. We'll name this directory tech Kevin website. And you can see that in the in the terminal, I typed in CD. I'm literally just going to drag and drop. You can do this on Windows as well. Next on your terminal, you'll see that we're currently in the directory of tech Kevin website. This literally is just an empty folder right now, right? We're going to type in ACLI space, ACLI space, Bravo dev space run. When this pops up, just click allow. And then you can see that once we're in here, we can see that everything successfully set up and we have access to all of the latest models, the slash icon, and then you'll be presented with a bunch of different options. Click the dash and then you're going to go down to YOLO. You're going to go down to YOLO, press enter. And once you can see YOLO is engaged, what this does is it pretty much skips on all of the confirmations and just vibe codes all the way to the end. If you click here, you can also clear the window and then you can also go down. There's different options as well. You can clear, you can copy, you can go to different directories, manage it. You can go feedback, help, IDE, MCP servers. If you have that, you can also do memory and if you go down to models, you can change the models. So they currently have GPT-5, which is the latest GPT. They have the latest Sonnet as well, 4.5. Okay, since we're in the directory, I'll show you guys how to create a brand new website now. And so since we have everything set up right now, the prompt I'm gonna type in is create me a React website. I added a image folder with a template screenshot it's not going to be perfect but it's going to be something pretty nice i want you to create me a website exactly similar to the ux of that you press enter see that right now it's successfully vibe coding I, i'm using gpt5 and then we're going to create the react website right now and make sure you type in that prompt exactly like kind of how it is they so create me a react website so because if you say create a website just in general it might just do basic different tech stack, you know, but using the React, I'm, I'm telling it to create me a React website and we just wait for it to do its magic. And you can pretty much just do this unlimitedly. You can create any sort of website. You can create any sort of app, any sort of software. It can do, you can ask it questions. You can use it kind of like Cloud Pro or ChatGBT Pro and just ask it questions. Okay guys, so it looks like it finished. When it's done, you'll see something like this towards the end. It says your React website. So you can see here that we just created a sample website. And then we're just gonna go here. We're gonna copy and paste that local host with that colon 3000. And it's it's pretty quick, right? And we're gonna go back to our web browser. We're gonna paste it in local host that colon thing um, 3000. Wow, and this is that we just created right now. So this is just literally one prompt, a single prompt that we that we pasted it in and we literally created this entire, just one page right now, but we can create more pages. This is just one prompt as well. So I'm actually pretty amazed by this. And you can see here literally from one prompt, this was the result. You can see here, this is a local, this is not a live website, we, but we can host it live later. That's it for the video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know what you think. Please do a like, subscribe, turn post notifications on. And I'll see you guys again in the next video. Peace out.